Being the bosom lover of my lord must needs be like my lord. If it be so, how little is the cost I have bestowed in purchasing the semblance of my soul from out the state of hellish cruelty. That this comes too near the praising of myself, therefore no more of it. Here are other things. Uh, Lorenzo, I commit into your hands the husbandry and manage of my house until my lord's return. For mine own part, I have toward heaven breathed a secret vow to live in prayer and contemplation, only attended by Nerissa here until her husband and my lord's return. There is a, a, a monastery two miles off, and there we will abide. Mm -hmm. I do desire you not to deny this imposition, the which my love and some necessity now lays upon you. Madam, with all my heart, I shall obey you in all fair commands. Now, my people do already know my mind and will acknowledge you and... Uh, Yes, yeah, in place of Lord Bassano and myself. So fare you well till we shall meet again. Fair thoughts and happy hours attend on you. I wish your ladyship all hearts content. I thank you for your wish, and I'm well pleased to wish it back on you. Fare you well. Jess Jessica. Now, Balthazar, as I have ever found thee honest true, so let me find thee still. Take this same letter and use thou all the endeavor of a man in speed to Padua. See thou render this into my cousin's hand, Dr. Bellario, and look what notes and garments he doth give thee. Bring them, I pray thee, with imagined speed unto the Tranect, to the common ferry that trades to Venice. Waste no time in words, but get thee gone. I shall be there before thee. Madam, I go with all convenient speed. <laughs> Come on, Nerissa, for I have work in hand that you yet know not of. We'll see our husbands before they think of us. What? Therefore, haste away, for we must measure 20 miles today. Antonio here. Ready, sir, please, please. Okay. I'm sorry for thee. I'd come to answer a stony adversary, an inhuman wretch, incapable of pity, void and empty from any dram of mercy. I have heard your grace has taken great pains to qualify his rigorous course. But since he stands obdurate, and that no lawful means can carry me out of his envy's reach, I do oppose my patience to his fury, and am armed to suffer with the quietness of spirit the very tyranny and rage of his. Go on and call the Jew into the court. He is ready at the door. He comes, my lord. Make room and let him stand before our face. Shylock, the world thinks, and I think so too, that thou but leadst this fashion of thy malice to the last hour of act. And then tis thought thou show thy mercy and remorse more strange than is thy strange apparent cruelty. And were thou now exacts the penalty which is a pound of this poor merchant's flesh, thou wilt not only loose the forfeiture, 
but touched with human gentleness and love, forgive a moiety of the principal. Glancing an eye of pity on his losses, which have of late so huddled on his back, and now to press a royal merchant down and pluck commiseration of his state from brassy bosoms and rough hearts of flint, from stubborn Turks and Tartars, never trained to offices of tender courtesy. We all expect a gentle answer, Jew. I have uh, possessed your grace of what I purpose, and by our holy Sabbath have I sworn to have the due and forfeit of my bond. If you deny it, let the danger light upon your charter and your city's freedom. You'll ask me why I rather choose to have a weight of carrion flesh than to receive 3,000 ducats. I'll not answer that, but say it is my humor. Is it answered? Hmm. What if my house be troubled with a rat? And I be pleased to give 10,000 ducats to have it baned. What? Are you answered yet? <clears throat> Some men there are love not a gaping pig. Some that are mad if they behold a cat. Others, when the bagpipe sings in the nose, cannot contain their urine. For affection. Master of passion sways it to the mood of what it likes or loathes. And now for your answer, as there is no firm reason to be rendered why he cannot abide a gaping pig, why he a harmless, necessary cat, why he a woolen bagpipe, but a false must yield to that inevitable shame as to offend himself being offended. So can I give no reason, nor I will not more than a lodged hate and a certain loathing I bear Antonio, that I follow thus a losing suit against him. Are you answered? This is no answer, thou unfeeling man, to excuse the current of thy cruelty. I'm not bound to please thee with my answers. Do all men kill the things they do not love? Hates every man the thing he would not kill. Every offense is not a hated offense. offense. What wouldst thou have a serpent sting thee twice? I pray you think. You question with the Jew? You may as well go stand up on the beach and bid the main flood bait his usual height. You may as well use question with the wolf why yet made the ewe bleat for the lamb. You may as well forbid the mountain pines to wag their high tops and to make no noise when they are threatened with the gust of heaven. You may as well do anything most hard as seek to soften that than which what's harder is Jewish heart. Therefore I do beseech you make no more offers, use no farther means. But with all plain and brief conveniency, let me have judgment. And the Jew is will. For thy 3,000 ducats, here is six. If every ducat in 6,000 ducats were in six parts, and every part a ducat, I would not draw them, I would have my bond. How shalt thou hope for mercy, rendering none? <laughs> what judgment shall I dread, doing no wrong? You have among you many a purchased slave, which, like your asses and your dogs and mules, you use in abject and in slavish parts because you bought them. Shall I say to you, let them be free? Marry them to your heirs? Why sweat they under burdens? Let their beds be made as soft as yours, and let their pallets be seasoned with such viands, you will answer, oh, the slaves are heirs. So do I answer you. The pound of flesh which I demand of him is dearly bought. It's mine, and I will have it. If you deny it, fie upon your law. There is no force in the decrees of Venice. I stand here for judgment. Answer, shall I have it? <laughs> 